So mm-hmm. there are these balancing provisions there. What I do notice though nowadays is that the uh, information that is being spread around about the bill is, uh, how shall I put it, um, a little exaggerated perhaps. Okay. Um, or, or per- but, Why but so? I do, understand, I do understand the concern. The context of, of the presentation of the data there is a little wrong. So a lot of people are saying na, oh, abusuhin ito dahil ECQ, abusuhin ito dahil gay. No, no, no. The, the terrorism problem is apples and oranges when it comes to ECQ and it comes to politics. This is a national security problem and not just a national security problem. It is also a regional problem. May I give another example? Uh, uh, be- before you do, Jericho, can you please clarify this? Because uh, before we went on air, I did mention the, to Congressman Nograles, ladies and gentlemen, that there are a lot of students who reached out because apparently they took interest in this matter. And one of the things that was highlighted was people can be held for 14 days before being delivered to the proper judicial authorities. Uh, that's under Section 29, and it can be extended by 10 days if necessary to preserve evidence, prevent another terror act, investigation is being conducted, etc. In, in other words, you could be detained for quite a long time before anyone even knows that you got grabbed by the authorities. No, that's inaccurate. Again, okay, that's that, right. Yeah. Like, thank you for asking, asking. I'm glad you asked that. How it's supposed to happen is this. When an officer detains an individual for suspicion of terrorism, such officer is responsible to go to the nearest judge, the nearest RTC judge, to justify his detainment of that person and not just to justify it and present evidence on why they have to detain that person, they also have to inform the court, number one, why they have to detain him, number two, how long they think they have to detain him, whether it's the maximum or just a few days, or if they think they're going to extend it. Number three, where are they going to detain him? So, hindi na pwede yung patago. Tulad ng araw, yung mga desaparecido, mga natuluyan na. And marami akong kilala na mga desaparecido. Ang pang-apat, very important, is the state of health of the individual as well as the mental state of that individual upon the detention. And they have to justify it continuously. And here is the safeguard. If he cannot the law enforcer cannot justify his detention, that law enforcement agent can go to prison immediately, forfeit everything, and you know, push na, push na lahat ang ginagawa dyan. Those are mm-hmm. the safeguards. Kasi ako, ayoko. Eh, eh, kung ako maging biktima dun, pati mat- matapot ako. So the way that I approach this bill is I keep my open ears, but at the same time, we need to be very fair and very secure in ourselves. Mm-hmm.